HTMX is fast. That's all I want. I want to say, and I want to prove it with uh, uh, an application that uses HTMX here. Um, the counter, and it's a fair counter, is uh, local first apps. So people that use uh, the spa model, like with React or Vue and so on, Svelte, etc., they <coughs> use optimistic updates and things like replicash and so on and so forth to essentially hide latency, which is great. These are amazing pieces of technology, but they are very, very complex. They introduce a lot of complexity. Complexity is a problem because it makes you develop slower and it makes you min it makes maintenance of software harder. The simpler the software is, obviously, the easier it is to maintain, the faster it is to build. It's just overall better to show you that something that's built with HTMX and traditional server rendering the way we used to do way back when is actually pretty fast and pretty performant and pretty cool in terms of the UX. I have a demo here. This is an app that actually is in production. So within the next few weeks, you're going to see this whole thing uh, released on our website. Um, but yeah, this is Go and HTMX and it's really pretty goddamn fast. I'm using, I'm throttling the connection to 35 Mbps in 300 milliseconds. And I'll show you how this works. You click and loads. And the new chart with the new round appears with the new data. <coughs> Okay, and even if you spam the button, it keeps on working very, very well. It's not an issue. Do you or should you always use HTMX and forget about the local first approach? No, I think it's about trade-offs. Do you want your web application to be simple, easy to maintain, fast to build? And are you willing to trade a little bit of latency for that? Go ahead and use HTMX. Is that little bit of latency super important to your web application? Most of the time it isn't. Then yeah, you're gonna have to use the spa model, optimistic updates, things like Replicash, and you're gonna have to deal with that complexity. I personally think most of uh, web development teams out there do not need to reduce latency that much that they couldn't use HTMX.